Niaji Africa, what's up Africa? Bonjour Africa. This is All Africa Games Recap. We're going to go over the Kenyan cricket team, which is uh, one win away from making the semi-finals of the All Africa Games. Um, yeah, I'm just going to go through two games. We lost bitterly to our rivals, Uganda. Uganda looked really good against us. I'm not even going to lie. Um... In any chance I get to talk badly about our neighbors, I have to take it. But in this case, hey, they really, they really walloped us. They beat us by 72 runs. Um, but then we won. We beat South Africa. Relax, not the main South African team. It's the uni uni sport South Africa, USSA. It's I think it's just a bunch of uni kids from SA. Um, because I I to be honest, I we wouldn't, we wouldn't beat the main team. Yeah. But uh we have one win, one loss. We're currently third in our group. Um, we're second to University Sports South Africa because they beat Ghana by 134 runs. So we have to beat Ghana. I don't think that it really matters how much you beat them by, but a good scoreline would be nice because if USSA somehow end up beating Uganda, then... Um, yeah, we don't make it to the semifinals. Oh, uh, yeah, we, I don't think we'd make it um, in terms of head-to-head -head and just the runs. That, they've just gotten a, a good number of runs. Um, whereas for Kenya, we have one game against Ghana, which we have to win. And if we win that game, then we are more or less assured of a spot in the semifinals. I'll just start with the Kenya-Uganda game uh, because that's the one we lost. Um, yeah, Uganda had 169 runs, um, seven wickets in 20 overs. They held us to 97 runs um, in 16.4 overs. For Kenya, Gurdip Singh, 22 runs from 24 balls, and Rakeb Patel, our captain, 42, ru 42 runs from 35 balls, I think was really kept us in there. And uh, the one thing I'll say about us guys is, especially against Uganda, we just couldn't get boundaries. And I, at the end of the day, that's what it came down to, right? Because if you look at Uganda got, I think, 16 fours and compared to our six fours, and they had seven sixes compared to our four. So they were getting to the boundary. Um, I don't know if it's just a fielding thing or just the bowling, but yeah, they were really getting to the boundary more than we could. Um, we let Dinesh Nakrani get 43 runs from 23 balls, and he was obviously player of the match. But one shining uh, light in this game was Lucas Olwoch, who got five wickets in four overs. Like, that is efficiency at its best. The two people who really just let us down in terms of um, allowing a lot of runs, Emmanuel Bundy and Peter Langat, uh, gave up 40 and 43 runs, uh, respectively. And between them, they only had one wicket. So I get, I think that that's where we kind of just, yeah, things just went haywire whenever the two of them were bowling against the Ugandans. Um, but against South Africa, I saw a lot more promise and i just want to give a big shout out to arnav patel this boy 18 years old this boy is doing wonders this if i'm not wrong is his first t20 match like for kenya and the boy got five wickets and i you know i looked at him bowling and i'm just like dude like it's just the way he varies his the way he varies his bowling he's so fearless right he doesn't it doesn't matter who he's going against and I think his first wicket was the captain, the USSA captain. I can't remember his name. But the captain was trying. He was trying to... When he saw the kid come up, he was like, I'm going for six. And he tried. But the way the ball was just spinning, you know, his, his bowling technique is more of a leg break. So when the ball was coming in, just sliced it proper. And he just went up and it was caught. And he was out. And at that point, you could just see the boy just grew in confidence. He ended up getting another four wickets. Like, he was so impressive. Um, only allowed 15 runs from three overs. Five wickets in that time. I think he only also had two wickets in that uh, one where he got the captain. So, Arnav Patel, for me, someone to watch. I uh, I was, um, like, I'm so happy to watch young talent like this. Like, it's just a matter of him just keeping up, you know, and keeping that confidence up. I I think he also had like an element of surprise because many people didn't even know who he was, right? Because he didn't play the Kenya-Uganda game, but he, yeah, he was really good. Um, again, we won this game by 70 runs, uh, 141 for six in 20 overs. We limited them to 15 overs, 71 runs. Um, yeah. Again, Anna Patel had five wickets. Lucas Olwoch, who had the five um, wickets in the first game, had two in this one. But um, I also love him because he's a lefty. Ah, lefties. Fellow lefties in the building. So, yeah, like just seeing Lucas bowl with his left hand is so dope to watch. Um, Colin Sobuya was just 
on another level 58 runs uh, from 47 balls he had in this game much much better in triggering boundaries we had seven sixes uh, sorry seven fours from Collins Obuya and two sixes from him as well 13 fours and five sixes in general i think was just a much better um uh, run rate from i mean better we, uh, like we did better in getting boundaries in this game uh we limited the people who got the most for uh, ussa were george van heden 22 runs from 22 balls and keegan leon catch i believe that's his name 16 runs from 18 balls but yeah we they really didn't do much against us so i was quite impressed by them lucas will watch two wickets Sam gotcha two wickets as well very very impressive uh performance from the kenyan so let's see if you can keep this up and we need to beat uganda then we can make it to the semi-finals where more likely than not, Zimbabwe will be waiting for us. But yeah, that is how the Kenyan cricket team is doing at the All-Africa Games.